Hey there, I'm Dan, and in this video, I'd like to introduce my project, state its purpose and impact on local community, as well as highlight steps in its implementation. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, let's talk about the aim of the project. I vividly remember how I first came up with the idea. One day, during a Q&A session after a lecture at UVM, Nastya Rachko, who was sitting right beside me, raised her hand and asked the lecturer a relevant question. How exactly are we supposed to find volunteers to participate or help in the organization of our projects? The answer that we could use our social links, such as friends and acquaintances, although valid, didn't satisfy me. I was expecting something more specific and efficient. And then it hit me. Why not create a social network specifically for volunteers that would allow organizations and entrepreneurs to easily find volunteers for their projects, and on the other hand, enable volunteers to access a huge database with volunteering and community service opportunities that they could join. Indeed, not only is it a win-win situation for both volunteers and organizations, but also a vibrant way to promote volunteering in Russia in general. So, as soon as I returned home from the program, I immediately started working on making this idea come true. The first step in the process of implementation was brainstorming and planning. Luckily for me, I already set specific goals for the project and knew the target audience, so the only things that I needed to work out were features and functionality that I wanted my network to have. Although this step might seem unimportant, it's actually crucial, because this way you won't have to struggle trying to come up with new ideas along the way and will have a clear image of how exactly your final project should look like. After I was finished with step 1, all that had to be done could be narrowed down to one thing – coding. Since I'm majoring in computer science, I already had some coding experience, but if you don't, that's not a problem. There are hundreds of online resources where you can learn all the basics for free. The coding process itself can be divided into two sections, backend, which is responsible for how website works and what features it has, and frontend, or how it actually looks. As of now, I'm almost done with this step. My agenda for the future includes advertising and negotiating with charity and volunteering organizations about them, commanding my services for their purposes. So, this was a brief description of my project. To find out more, please visit December's final conference in Moscow or simply drop me an email. Thanks, and see you soon!